Hello friends, uh, today we are going to solve another interview problem and that is uh, generate all strings of n bits. Okay, so what does it mean? So <coughs> it means um, we need to generate all strings of n bits. So we have given the n, a number n and we have to generate all the bits. For example, if let's say n is equal to 2 then output would be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if n is equal to 3 for, uh, as in here in this example so the output is uh, 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 right so <coughs> so we can see that it is 2 power 3 so it's 2 power n and n is a number here so if n is 2 2 power 2 that is 4 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 4 strings and if n is 3 2 power 3 is equal to 8 so these are 8 strings okay so let's see how we can um, solve this problem so let's take n is equal to 3 okay so first we can um, we can take an array of size n so here n is 3 so the size of the array is 3 okay so initially all 0 0 0 so now if you if you notice uh, the each position right has two options either it is 0 or 1 okay so we can have uh, 1 0 0 0 and 1 0 0 similarly 0 1 0 and 1 um, 1 1 0 so here these are two options and then we have th at this position we have 0 and this position we have 1 okay so each position has two options so what we can do is we iterate the array from left to right and at each position first we'll put 0 and make a recursive call to the rest of the array and then we'll put 1 and make a recursive call to rest of the array okay so <coughs> once we make a recursive call to this so our first position is already fixed so now this is 0 0 0 and now this position has two options so that is 0 1 0 and then make a recursive call to the rest of the array so rest of the array is only one element and same here okay so if we if we look at here so 0 0 0 so that first at a uh, first position the first option is 0 so we will go with 0 0 0 and then 1 0 0 now the second index so this has two options so we'll go with first 0 and then 0 1 0 similarly this one has two options so 1 0 0 1 1 0 now the third position so again this has two options so first option is 0 so 0 0 0 and then 0 0 1 and this one is 0 1 0 and 0 1 1 similarly 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 okay so now we have the array is completed there is nothing much to you know uh, traverse so on the right side so now we will print it so what we'll print we'll print this this 
this this one this one this one and uh, here we missed one zero zero okay so one two three four and each has two options so eight okay so let's go back and see the code did i miss anything here so this has to this has to this has to okay this is missed so this is one one zero so total eight okay let's go back to let's go back to our problem mm. so here um <coughs> Recursion is the key here. So create an integer array of size n. Now if we think each bit can take two values, 0 and 1, starting from the starting to the end of the string, set the bit 0 and 1 at each position and make a recursive call. So let's let's understand the code. So we are um, here n is equal to 3 so we are initializing an array of size 3 so that is 0 0 0 okay and this is our base case so if n becomes 0 n becomes 0 that means we have traversed the array so now print it else now we are starting from n is equal to 3 okay and since uh, array indexers for 3 array index are 0 1 2 0 to 2 so that's why we are doing n minus 1 is equal to 0 so we are setting a bit at n minus n minus 1 index to 0 and making a recursive call and now the n is equal to 2 similarly here we set the sec uh, the n minus one index to one. So first we are setting to zero, then we are setting to one and make a recursive call, right? So we start with zero zero zero, and then make a recursive call, and then uh, one zero zero and make a recursive call. So every time we make a recursive call, we reduce the n by n by one okay so first we are setting n minus one index in the sec which is second index in second iteration in second recursive call we'll be setting the first index and then the zeroth index and then we'll reach here so once we reach here that means we print the array okay so let's uh, let's run this code and uh, so n is equal to 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and so on. Let's try this for 4. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, so if we, and so on. So if we count, that is... 2 power 4 so 16 so these are 16's 16 strings okay so this is how we can generate all strings of n bits given the number n okay we can mark this problem as uh, completed and uh, yeah visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interesting problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye